I not only have human instructors, but I have dog instructors that teach our students as well. There are several training areas at Joint Base San Antonio Lacklin and Lacklin Training Annex Medina. The schoolhouse is in charge of training handlers, kennel masters and trainers for the entire Department of Defense. That foundational level starts right here at Lacklin. Currently, there are more than 800 dogs. So when you look at dog training, from the dog training perspective, there's two modalities that we train. The first one is detection. It's very mental. It's very, very focused for the handler to see that slight change of behavior when that dog recognizes that a drug or explosive is present. It could be a very unique change to every dog, and the handler needs to be able to recognize what that change of behavior is. And it might be very slight. It's a turn of a head. It's a wagging of a tail. There is a response, we call it the final response. A dog will sit when it's trained to find whether it's narcotics or explosives. It's the second training is physical. The other side of it is what you'd see maybe on live PD or, or cops, you know, at night, chasing the bad guy, you know, doing the bite work, we call. Uh, that bite work is very physical. It's physical for the dog. It's physical for the trainer. Uh, my trainers get a lot of aches and pains because it is tough work catching a, a 60 to 80 pound German Shepherd or Belgian Malama on that wrap. 341st Training Squadron Commander Matthew Kowalski says dogs are trained differently depending on where they will be placed. A Department of Homeland Security and TSA, their program is focused on what's called single purpose dogs. Those are dogs that their only mission is detection, sniffing out explosives. Uh, the DOD, our mission is a little bit different depending on which uh, service the dog is going to go to and which mission set they're, they're aligned to. Some dogs will be narcotics uh, dogs looking for drugs. Some dogs will be explosive dogs looking for bombs and explosives. Uh, for the Marine courses that I talked about before, a little bit different mission. They're an off-leash asset where a lot of dogs in the DOD are on-leash. Uh, and they're looking on roadsides for explosives. Down. Handlers from all branches go through training here. The handler students train for about 11 weeks, and these military working dog students train for about six months. Dog has to do the stairs, catwalk, so they can just navigate some stairs, um, a narrow path for a catwalk, hurdles, different heights, just a comparison in uh, as they go through operational to make sure they'll jump over objects. They don't have any issues with that. Jumping through a window, we have the window out here, kind of simulates going through any type of window, vehicle, building, anything of the sort. Uh, we have tunnels. Dogs have to crawl through different variances, different lengths of tunnels. They have three different ones they have to navigate. And then the A-frame, will they climb an incline and will they come down an incline without issues? Cody Kossenbaum helps with training. He's been a dog handler for seven years. It's not just about the training, but also building a bond with these military working dogs. We start paying them, start giving them a lot of rewards, a lot of affection. The dogs start pairing up with the individual. They start coming back to them a lot more. Casabom created a special bond with one in particular. We worked for two years together out in the operation. He's a narcotics dog. We're the only certified narcotics team on my base for a little over a year. So we did a lot of call outs, stuff like that. That military working dog is now retired and lives with his forever family. He's with me all the time. Um, my wife, my kids can be playing with him. He sees me come home from work. He doesn't care what's going on. He'll stop eating, stop playing with him and come over and just welcome me home. The dogs that graduate work around the world. Now the ones that don't graduate, they get adopted or either given to an agency if it meets their needs.